Well, hi boys and girls. This is lesson number two for the week during our Bible time. And remember, we're talking about how Jesus heals. Now, who remembers? Who are some of the people that we talked about yesterday that Jesus healed? Can you think of them? Oh, that's right. One was the man at the pool who had been crippled, right? And he didn't really have any friends to help him, but Jesus is always there to help us. And Jesus healed him and made him walk. And the other one, that's right, it was the man that had lots of friends that brought him to Jesus. And they lowered him through the roof and Jesus healed him as well. Boys and girls, I hope you are being that friend and I hope you are telling friends that you know, come see Jesus. He can help you. Well, today we have a story about two more people in the Bible, oh, three more, that Jesus helped and healed. So let's say a little prayer and then we'll get started. Father, we thank you for your word, the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible, that teaches us all about you so we can know you more and love you more and serve you better. So speak to our hearts through these stories today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, our first story takes place in the town of Jericho. Again, we keep hearing about that town, don't we? Well, in this town of Jericho, there was a man named Bartimaeus, and he was blind. So we'll just call him Bart for short. Well, blind Bart had been blind for many, many years. And in Jesus' time, that was bad news because there wasn't much help for the blind people. And he couldn't work and take care of his family. He had to sit at the, at the city gates and beg for his food and beg for money to support his family and to be able to live. It was very sad. Well, one day, Bartimaeus was sitting on the against the wall and he heard a big commotion down the road and he said what's going on what's going on and someone that was passing by said Bartimaeus it's Jesus of Nazareth he has come to our city and Bartimaeus thought oh Jesus I've heard stories of him. Could he be the promised Messiah come to save us? I've heard that he can do miracles. I'm going to ask him to heal me and give me my sight. Well, Bartimaeus could only hear. And as he heard the parade getting closer, the big crowd getting closer, he shouted out, Jesus! Son of David, have mercy on me. And people around him said, Oh, Bartimaeus, hush, hush. You're bothering the teacher. He's very important. Bartimaeus didn't care. He called out all the louder, Jesus, Jesus, have mercy on me. And the people around him could not hush him. And all of a sudden, Jesus stopped. And the crowd stopped. And they got very quiet. And Jesus walked up to blind Bart. And he began talking with him. And he said, what do you want? Do you think Jesus knew what he wanted? Of course he did. But boys and girls, Jesus wants us to ask. He wants us to depend on him. And Bartimaeus said, Lord, I want to see and Jesus said, very well, see, be healed. And Bart, all of a sudden, things turned from black and gray and shadowy to bright and clear. And the first thing he saw was the lovely face of Jesus. Look at how happy he looks. He was so glad that Jesus had healed him. Do you think that everybody in town was amazed? I bet they were. And when they saw him, they probably said, wait, 
I thought, he was blind. He's been sitting by the wall for oh so long. And yet now there he is and he can see. And Jesus got the glory. Well, there was another time when there was a very important man in town. And this was in Capernaum. Oh, I think. I could be wrong. I'll have to check that, boys and girls. I have so many healing stories, I get confused where they all are. But this man was very important. He was a big leader in the city. He was a leader among the people. What is he doing down on his knees? Usually, people would bow down to him or be very respectful to him. But look at him. He is on his knees before Jesus. That's how we show respect, don't we, boys and girls? Do you kneel down sometimes when you're praying, maybe by your bed at nighttime? It's a good way to show honor to the Lord that you love and respect him. Well, you see, even though Jairus was very important, there was something he had no power over. He had a child who was very, very sick. And this child could not be healed by the doctors. And when he heard that Jesus was in town, he made a long trip, about 15 miles, to go see Jesus. And he said, Lord, please come quickly. My child is so sick. He's on the point of death. And Jesus looked at him and said, do you all people only want miracles from me? Jesus really wants us to not just always ask for things, doesn't he? He wants us to love him and worship him. But Jesus had compassion on Jairus and he said, all right, I will come with you. So Jairus was saying, oh, thank you, Lord, thank you. We must hurry, he's very sick. So as Jesus left with Jairus, of course, a crowd of people followed him because everybody followed Jesus. They couldn't wait to see what was going to happen next. And as they were walking along the road, and Jairus is trying to be patient, but hurry, Jesus, hurry, hurry. He all of a sudden stopped and Jesus said, stop, someone touched me. And Peter looked at Jesus and he said, well, Lord, there's a crowd of people all around us. Of course somebody touched you. Everyone's bumping into everyone else. And he said, nope, I felt healing power go out. And everyone looked around. Who could it be? Well, a woman came up and she said, Lord, I have been sick. I have been bleeding for 12 years and the doctors can't make it stop. And I have spent all my money trying to get well. And you are my only hope. Boys and girls, Jesus likes it when we get to that point And we say, Jesus, you are my only hope. I trust in you. And Jesus said, very well. Your faith has made you well. And instantly, she was healed. Well, this was wonderful and people were so happy, but Jairus, hurry, Lord, hurry. We have to keep going. We have to keep going because my child is so sick. And so he was trying to be patient. So they're going and going. And as they were traveling, a servant came up and he said, don't bother the master anymore. Your little daughter is dead. Oh, oh, Jairus couldn't believe it. His heart was broken. But Jesus said, come along, Jairus. And when they got to the house, there were many people out in the yard crying and sobbing and wailing and mourning over the little girl's death. But Jesus said, send them all out, off the porch, out of the house, out in the yard. Go on, go on. And he took Jairus and Peter, James, and John, and he went into the house. And he said, don't worry, she is not dead. She is only sleeping. 
Well, the people outside kind of laughed at that. They knew dead when they saw dead. She was dead. Well, Jesus didn't want them around. He wanted people with faith that trusted him. So he went inside with just those few and he said, little girl, arise. And boys and girls, she came back alive. And she sat up and she looked around and she said, I think she probably said, why are all those people out in the yard crying? And then she said, I'm hungry. Sounds just like you guys. Is it snack time yet? I'm hungry. And look at her mom and dad. They are overjoyed. Boys and girls, Jesus not only has power over sickness, he has power over even death. We just celebrated Easter, didn't we? When Jesus died so we could be forgiven. And then he is risen so we can live forever with him. He has power over death. And he not only healed sick people, but he raised people from the dead. It's amazing, isn't it? He truly is God. So boys and girls, as you hear about people that may be sick or people that are worried about being sick, remember to pray for them because there is power in the name of Jesus. So let's pray right now. Father, we thank you for your word, and we thank you that every word is true in the Bible. Thank you, Jesus, that you came to have power to show us that you are truly God of the universe and have power over sickness and death. So, Lord, we ask that you would please heal our land. Please heal those who are sick. Please protect those who are not sick. And Lord, be glorified and be honored. And may people, when they see your work, say, Great is our God. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. See you later, boys and girls.